Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Isaac David, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to put up a video this week just because, I don't know, I shot one and it just didn't, it didn't feel right and it just like, it, what I didn't find it like particularly helpful for people or that I did a good job in, in shooting it. So I just, I just was like, I don't know if I'm going to shoot a video this week. And, um, but here I am and I, the reason that I want to shoot this video is because I might as well just talk about, you know, why part of the reason that I didn't shoot the video and, and just some of what I'm going through right now, um, and pretty much my whole life. And some of you can relate to this, but just, you know, experiencing crippling anxiety at some points, you know, and, um, I guess my when I see like young adults, like my age and stuff like that, like, um, I wonder, and I always did wonder, like, did they, do people, do people worry about stuff as much as I do? <laughs> because on the outside, it seems like most people, you know, they have it together. They're, you know, they're not really concerned about too much, maybe if, you know, and, and they're just kind of like, you know, going on the next thing. And maybe these new things are happening to them in their life with new stages of life and, and young adulthood and all that, but it's not really too big of a deal. Um, sorry, I'm messing with my hair. I just don't know what to do with it. I'm just, yeah, at this point. Um, but, but I, I think I'm coming to realize that that's not true. Like I'm coming to realize that, that, all, when I grew up, like I grew up in homeschool Christian community and everybody was really put together. You know, everybody was like Christian and like you, no real problems. And it was just kind of like life was good and all that kind of thing. So growing up when I would have like, like really crippling anxiety about just like random things like homeschool co-op or like basketball practice or or whatever it is, or like a test, and I was homeschooled, like, why are you getting so, you know, anxious about a test for homeschooling, like, that seems crazy, but I felt like I was crazy, and, and so now, nowadays, like, I, I, I still, there's still that remnant of that I feel like I'm the really screwed up one, but I want to enter like something, something different into this conversation that I talked about a little bit on Instagram. You can follow me there if you want to. Um, but I, I talked about how people with good parents, if they have like anxiety or, or depression or have, you know, body image issues or whatever it is, you know, self-worth issues, um, they, they feel like they need to minimize that because... <sighs> Because why, why would you have this problem? It's almost like, you know, you, you, you feel like you're, you're being too dramatic, you know, or you're just like the outlier and you're crazy and you should probably just shut up about it because look, nothing really too bad happened in your life. So you really don't have the justification for what you're experiencing. And so, so we just minimize that stuff and we push it down and we don't talk about it as much. Um, because if we do, then and all of a sudden we are the only one, then like we will seem weak and we will seem um, inadequate and seem um, just just not not the kind of person that we want to we want to show people we are. Um, and I think a lot of this plays into as well, like the church, like let's just talk about church culture, because I think there's a little bit of um, a prosperity gospel going on in, in the church in terms of mental health. And I'll explain this a little bit. Um, we see, you know, w Christians w will admit, like, hey, look, life isn't perfect when you're, when you're a Christian, right? You're going to experience, you know, difficulty and trials and that kind of thing. And, and ultimately we won't experience perfection until Jesus comes back again. Um, but when it comes to mental health or issues of anxiety or, body image issues or, or what, like array of things, right? Trust issues and whatever we, and things that can be like more attributed to, um, just like our personalities and less of like, uh, yeah, anyway, um, people see it as some people see it as like, Hey, no, well, you're a Christian. So, you know, those things should be wiped away. You shouldn't ha deal with those things anymore. You shouldn't struggle with those things anymore. 
Um, it's like the prosperity gospel of like health, wealth, except it's like for the internal, like you're going to be fixed internally for the most part, you know, maybe you'll still sin, but like you shouldn't, you shouldn't be anxious really. Like, are you not trusting God enough or you shouldn't be depressed? Like, are you, you know, are you not reading your Bible enough? And, and, and so, man, that's a, that's something that I'm, I'm, how should I put this? I'm just like, I want to be a voice if, if anything for, for you. And if you are like, it, maybe you had good parents and, but yet you feel like you are just crazy because you're struggling with these things and you feel like everyone around you is more put together and maybe you're even behind, um, or you feel like you're just being dramatic. I would just say that those are real hurts and those are real struggles and you won't be able to begin to like heal from that stuff until we begin to talk about it. And so I think in my life right now, like this is kind of a rambly video, but just, we'll just go with it. Um, in my life right now, I'm, I'm in this place where I'm experiencing a lot of like, uh, you know, just being a young adult, you, you, you have to do a lot of new things and new experiences and all this kind of thing for, for work or whatever school or, just life stuff and and a lot of that can be anxiety inducing and just to be like authentic here like I, I post a little bit on Instagram just that I'm like do you ever just forget to breathe and just take a deep breath <sighs> doesn't that feel better because I honestly forget to breathe some like I'm just like so tight and like my jaw is clenched just because there's so much stress that that to me, when I look at it, I'm like, this is not justifiable stress. Like, this is not a big deal. Like, this is okay. But yet, I still experience that anxiety. So, what I have two choices here, and this is these are your choices here. You can say you're being over dramatic, and you should just chill, or you can get to the heart of where this anxiety is coming from. And for me, when I look at that, oh, sometimes it's about a lot of times it's about disappointing people. It's not about not measuring up to my own expectations, but it's about measuring up to the expectations of other people. And there's a lot of stress associated with that. Or it's just wanting to, um, you know, be, be where I'm supposed to be, not be behind in any way. So there's that anxiety of like, hey, am I, you know, measuring up here? Am I where I'm supposed to be according to where all my friends are? And so that can just be crushing sometimes. And, and I don't want you to just put it down like, hey, like, I don't need to think about that. I don't need to like, let's talk about where that's coming from. And, and if you haven't done this in your own life, man, start identifying where these, these thoughts and these feelings and this anxieties or, or depression or, or just like feelings of worthlessness or whatever it is, where is that coming from? Because God wants to meet us in the midst of that. I think there's a big, there's a big misunderstanding that God is somehow disconnected from, from those things. Like he's concerned with our standing morally. Like we got to, you know, measure up to, to God's standard. Um, but then, you know, then we understand the gospel and we're like, okay, wait, no, Jesus is taking that punishment on himself so we can be forgiven. And that's great. And that's wonderful. But a lot of people just stop there and they forget that, wait, Jesus has something to say about our souls, about our, our mental health, about our anxieties, about our depressions, about our, our just motivation to wake up in like in the morning. Like God has something to say about that. <sighs> And I don't necessarily have like answers for all this, right? Like I don't, I can't tell you how to stop being anxious or I can't tell you how to, um, cause I don't, I don't have the answers to that. The only thing I can do is, is for me. And part of the reason I'm making this video is just to say those anxieties are real. Um, and they're not, you're not crazy. But you also, you also don't need to stay there. Like there is, there is actual hope for you in this. And I, I have to believe that for myself. Like I have to believe that maybe I'll go through my life and, and just continue to have to battle up against this, 
you know, crippling anxiety at some points and just like power through. But, but I believe that God can, God can heal. But like I said, it's not this prosperity gospel. Like, you know, you say little couple words or you say this thing or pray this prayer. And then all of a sudden, boom, bang, you know, you're fixed. But it's like, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to be aware of it. I'm going to acknowledge it and I'm going to work through this. And I'm going to invite God into this story of, of, of a big, like struggle of my life because he's my father. I want to invite him into this. Um, and I think, I think there's a place to, I don't want to make this video too long, but I guess I'll just get into it. Like there's a place too for other people in your life as well. Like you need people in your life that you can be honest with, that you can share this with. And I realize a lot of people, they just don't have that. And for a long time, like, it, 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 like it's never you have it and then you're set. Like you're always trying to figure out these different friendships and relationships or whatever that you can be honest and authentic and, and have that connection. And it's work and it's a lot of work, but it's so important to like, we, how, how can we, you know, heal if we are never able to speak openly and honestly about what we're going through with people that care about us. And so maybe, you know, all your relationships right now are just surface level and, and, and maybe you just don't, don't even feel like this would be something that you could bring up to somebody. But I would just encourage you, obviously you want to be wise and you don't want to just, you know, be vulnerable with people that are just going to, you know, dismiss you. But it is a little bit of a, you need to take some risks, like go a little bit, you know, be a little bit more honest in each conversation and a little bit more vulnerable um, and just see the reaction that you get and, and just see if that, that relationship might and friendship might turn into something more deep or more important. Um, or more like meaningful, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll be back with another video. Um, I just thought, you know what, you might not, get, you might not get a scripted video or about a special topic, but you can at least hear from me this week. Um, I love you guys. Um, those of you who are on Patreon, there's 23 Patreon supporters right now. It's an amazing thing. I am like so thankful every day. I'm like, I get to do this as part of my job. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, thank you for those of you who are on Patreon. Um, and God bless guys. And I'll see you next time.